And now the news for the Midlands. I'm Simon Ward. Good afternoon. A Derbyshire man says waiting for the company behind the planned HS2 route to buy his home is proving a nightmare. David Townsend has seen two house moves fall through while HS2 Limited purchases his property, which is on the route of the high-speed rail line. He says he's been left frustrated by a lack of progress and communication from the company. Naftez Jahal reports. As you can see, we've been boxed up and ready to go since September last year. David was hoping to move months ago. In March last year, he was told that HS2 Limited would be buying his home in Blackwell in Derbyshire, as the high-speed rail line is planning to run through the back of his property. The HS2 line runs from uh, the field there, straight through the pylon there, and across the road. So it's literally right outside our back door. His house was valued by HS2 at £300,000, but he says he and his wife have been left in limbo by a lack of progress or communication from HS2, resulting in two failed house moves. We should have moved uh, last September, uh, but that fell through because HS2 weren't ready. Uh, another property we picked, that's fallen through as well because HS2 aren't ready yet. So it's taken over a year since HS2 have said they're going to buy this property and we still haven't even exchanged contracts with them. Well, this is an ongoing nightmare. I've asked our solicitor to talk to HS2, solicitor to talk to HS2, and the feedback I get is that even HS2 solicitor don't know what's happening. In a statement, HS2 said, We are committed to being a good neighbour to anyone affected by the construction of HS2. HS2's caseworker has been in regular contact with Mr Townsend's agent to ensure that his application proceeds as quickly as possible. But when we asked when David's house sale would be completed, HS2 said it had nothing further to add. Meanwhile, David is forced to continue to wait. Naftej Johal, BBC East Midlands Today, Blackwell. There's been a